I'm just relieved that I'm not as crazy as everyone says, or said my dad was, or my granddad, or my great granddad. <laughs> Alright, fangirls and fanboys, back to work. Labor Day's done, it's time to get down to business. Corrigan Vaughn and Kristen Latterell here with the lovely Alexandra Blakey to tackle what the heck happened this week. It was a doozy, folks. We're definitely going to talk about the massive 4chan leak of celebrity nudes, and then we're probably going to rage quit Earth. But we're also going to discuss a crazy Hello Kitty revelation from Sanrio and some cool casting news for Agent Carter. We're going to talk about a pretty awesome scientific discovery out of Death Valley, and we're going to play a little BuzzFeed game called Guess the Show by Emojis. So let's not dilly-dally here. Um, Hey, guys. Hello! I apparently can't pronounce the word revelation. This Re- is... That's how you say it. Revelation. Revelation. Yeah. I was just struggling both times through that uh, intro to try to make that come out. Like, uh, yeah. Nope. Mm-mm. Yep, that is incorrect. That is incorrect. Re- my brother can't. My brother can't say cinnamon. Really? Yeah. It's like one of the. It just gives him a really hard time. He yeah. just goes like cinnamon, yeah. cin- cinnamon, cinnamon. And he just like he's looking at him like you're right there, buddy. And he's like, I can't, can't do it. <laughs> it just breaks. That's it. Yeah, that would be it's really. It's like cool. a. He's like twit. You know, it's like a. Yeah. T- I don't know. Yeah, yeah. no, be... not a twist. It's like he's like malfunctioning. Yeah. You know, when, like you're on your GPS, and it's like make a U turn, and then you like miss. The guy's recalculating. And yeah. It's like, and it's like freaking out. <laughs> exactly. That's what he is trying to say, Cinnamon. Yeah. That'd be really problematic just, if he hung out with us because we have a friend named Cinnamon. True. Uh, he probably just wouldn't talk to her. That yeah. Probably that's a good boring. point. I was, th- I was thinking about something like that earlier today about uh, not addressing. Oh, because I was watching videos. Okay. Um, I wanted to make sure that I pronounced Enver Jokai correct. And I was like, I'm pretty solid on this. Uh, I found out I was pronouncing Deech and Lachman's name wrong, but I, I don't had know Enver. That's, I don't, that doesn't sound like a person. She's, she was also on Dollhouse. She's like the kind of ambiguously Asian-y brown looking one. Oh, Ooh, whiskey? I love her. Whiskey? Whiskey. Yeah, her name is The safe word will be whiskey. <laughs> I'm saying what queered. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, her yep. name's uh, Deechin, and I've thought it was Dyken this I, entire time. That's how I've been saying it. That's how yeah. I had no well, idea who you were talking about. Yeah. That's how I say her name. It's better as Deechin, I guess. Uh, <laughs> totally. In, in hindsight. Dyken is a terrible name. That would be awful. It would be. Um, and then, so yeah, then there's Enver Jokai. So I was trying to find interviews, and everybody avoids saying his name in all of them. <laughs> like, they, they'll they call him Enver at most, most of the interviews will start clearly right after they introduce them. Like they just cut out the part where they introduced his name and where they just butchered it. Yeah. On IMDb, they had the phonetic yeah. spelling of it. Yeah, this is why because I too to was it. like, what? <laughs> it was like Enver, and then it said like rhymes with where. I was yeah. like, oh, that's very helpful. That's nice. Of course, IMDb person. Yeah, of course, it doesn't give you anything for like Kai, which potentially could say K. Uh, that would have been helpful. But K A I is a Kai, I guess. Yeah, I guess I can't really give any exceptions. Not you guess for yes. Well, I mean, I have a nephew named Kai. This is correct. I'm just saying, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm merely stating it's really hard to learn pronunciations of celebrity names sometimes. Um, It's like Hermione all over again. It's Hermione one all over again. Golly. (laughs) I feel like with those, like, you just, you don't ever talk about them with other people. Like, I have my own way of saying a celebrity's name, and then I find out I'm completely wrong. <laughs> and it's in public, and it's so embarrassing that I've been saying it wrong the whole time. You're like, oh, you're yeah. nervous. Because for the celebrity news, like, I don't even know how to say half of those people's names. Oh, I just, yeah. Well. I, just, I say it my way. <laughs> and that's, As my, we, what was when the... you talk about talking about Jennifer Lawrence, I know you're going to make fun of me. <laughs> That's going to be super awkward. Go ahead, get um, it out. What, what was the, the girl who was dating Michelle Rodriguez that I always butcher her name? Oh, Kara. Kara? It's Kara? Oh, I don't know. Oh. I don't know if it's Kara. It has to be Kara, right? And then is it Delavine? Is it like, does it nya at the end of it? Like, I don't I say, I say Kara Delavine. That's what I say. I don't know. See, you um, Make that's, it that Yeah, that is, that's it, at least for this episode of the show. That's what her name is. Not that she's going to come up. She's actually not on this list. No. We don't really have a great track record with people's names anyway, so I don't 
think we should just go with whatever we know, what yeah. we think it is, and just let and the just chips run with it. fall where they may. Yeah. Well, I feel good I about Deechin and Enver, but now the other one is, like, that whole show is just full of people with crazy names. So then, like, the uh, the agent guy, how do you pronounce his name? Tom Ballard? O yeah, Ballard. Tomo? Oh, Pensac? oh wait, that's not his name. Ballard is, I don't know. I don't even know what his real name is. He was just on an episode of Criminal Minds, though. Oh, which season? Nine. Nine. Okay, I may not have, might. You haven't got, it's like the it. season, fin it's not, se it's like mid-season-ish, I think, okay. maybe. Yeah, that's fair. You'll there are like nine seasons of Criminal Minds. I have never seen one oh episode. Oh my gosh, Alex, this show. Alex, <laughs> you really should watch it. <laughs> it's like, it's one of those things, like, it's like, you know, with SVU or something that's just mm -hmm. on perpetually, so. Yeah, it's always on at any time of day. Yeah. But I just There's a marathon on right now. I was recording it, and then I was like, that's stupid. I could just watch all of them on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, of SVU or of Criminal Minds? Criminal Minds. Okay, yeah, because they took off half of SVU off of I Netflix, know. and I'm upset about upsetting. that. I know. Yeah. Um, so you get it. You're, you yes. get that whole thing. Uh, Criminal Minds is SVU on steroids. Um, and the whole cast is just like so endearing and wonderful. And you grow to love them more and more as the show goes on. And um, then I just binge watched season eight. Oh, my God. <laughs> the whole thing is so crazy. It just rips your soul out. Yeah, over and, and it, over. And over. And it essentially ruins your faith in humanity. It does. You should totally watch it. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. I'm so excited now. Yeah. Side note, mm. you pronounce his name Tomo Pennykit. Pennykit? Yeah. So I was okay on the first name and the last name that looked obvious I was saying wrong. Yeah. Oh, for the love. It's very, it's very phonetic, his name. Tomo Pennykit. Tomo Pennykit. I feel like Pennykit sounds like, I don't know. It's kind of adorable. It is. It's so, it's kind of like too cute for him. Like, oh, that actually feels like his vaudeville name. Like, I'm Tom Pennykit. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tom Hello. It sounds like a BBC America yeah. character yeah. name yeah, really does. somewhere. Like, right? Yeah. It's like Nicholas Nickleby. He's probably related to him yes. somehow. I agree. That's, huh. So we've anyway. got Tomo Pennykit and Enver Jokai and Deechin <laughs> Lockman. Look at how much we've learned today, you guys. Um, <laughs> All of this because uh, they're now announcing um, some casting for Agent Carter, which we've yeah. talked about uh, being excited about. Have, are you interested at all in Agent Carter, Alex? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I you was like, were you trying to think of a nicer way to say that? It's okay if you're not. <laughs> no. Um, Kristen is especially Do you know what? This. Yeah. Have you heard it about it? At I least? hadn't. I, I Googled it. I, am, okay. I feel educated now. Yeah. Okay. Good. That's that's yeah. fair. Um, yeah. I was excited because I saw that freaking Squinty McSquinterstein is going to be in it, a.k.a. Chad Michael Murray, <laughs> a.k.a. Lucas Scott. So yes. I am beyond excited. And then I was extra excited when I also saw that Victor was going to be in it. That's what I'm just going to call him. That was his yeah, sign that's his for name. Dollhouse. That's, so a, we should just go with that. that's a good way yeah. to do it. Um, that's what I do. Whis whiskey. <laughs> Ballard. <laughs> Their yeah. names are so much easier when they're on the show. I suppose you know? I do, but I think because I, I find them like interchangeable because they're all those. What do you call those names when they're those mil military alphabet yeah, names? The military or? alphabet, all signs. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, so uh, then I forget which one's which. I'm like, it's a, mm, I don't know. Tango? Well, see, I thought his was pretty interesting because he looked like he could be a victor. Well, yeah, Victor's the only one I never forget. The the rest. Well, and of them... whiskey. How do you forget whiskey? That's kind of a cool name. And Echo, obviously, and Adam. Oh, yeah, oh, that's right, Adam. Oh, yeah, Adam. Uh, yeah, I forgot that. Um, yeah. And then, wait, alpha. which one? Yeah, Adam. it's Alpha. Alpha, right? yeah, Not the Adam. bad one. What? Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's like, it's Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. Yeah, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Fox Golf, Hotel, India, Juliet, I don't, mm, okay. <laughs> I'm like, once you get towards the middle, I'm like, I don't know. Lima, Mike, November. Oh, I, I got that one. Oscar. P -p 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 -m -m. I always forget P. Nope, I got nothing. What's Q? Pollyanna. Pollyanna. Sure. Yeah. That sounds good. I like Pollyanna. Yeah. Anyway. 
Uh, well, all right. One time I memorized it all, but I always forget P. I would always just be like, P as in Paul. <laughs> that reminds me of a joke that my dad told me when I was a kid. You want to hear it? Yeah. Do you remember it, or is that the I joke? I think, that you I, think I remember it. Um, <laughs> okay. Maybe. Is it a joke that you don't remember it? Because I was just going to We'll see. We may edit this out because it's just so ridiculous. No, that you said I forgot P, though, is perfect. Um, the joke went something. I'm totally going to butcher this. The joke went something like this. It was, uh, you know, a little kid, has he goes to school, and he comes home, and he says to his dad that, you know, uh, he really has to go to the bathroom. And the dad's like, well, now, hold on for one second. Why don't you tell me what you learned today in school? And the kid is getting really, really anxious. He's like, well, we learned the alphabet. We learned the alphabet. Okay, can I go to the bathroom? And the dad's like, oh, really? well, why don't, you, why don't you tell me the alphabet? And so the kid's like, huh, okay. And so he says... Yeah, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, can I go to the bathroom? And the dad is like, well, son, you forgot the P. And the kid says, uh-uh, I didn't forget the P. It's running down my leg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, thank you, Jim Vaughn, for that little nugget. Okay, well so back to what we were talking about on the podcast. Uh, yep. Chad, Chad Michael Chad Murray. Michael Murray. Chad yeah. Michael Murray and all his squinty glory. I am yes. so excited. He does excited. the squint acting. It's these the looks. <laughs> the eye it's like lower and whenever he's, like he's something yeah. emotional. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we Definitely. haven't seen enough of him lately, for sure. Like, what? what? I feel like he's well. Isn't he in? He's in Left Behind, right? The new one with Nicholas Cage. Yeah, he is. He would be. I'm yeah, ma'am. Sure. Yeah. Make better choices. I know. This, well, he... I was, uh, yeah. I was thinking, I'm like, I know he's in something recently. I'm like, what did I see him in? And I was like, oh, I think it was the awful trailer for Left Behind. I refuse to watch that. You haven't watched the trailer? No. On principle. Oh, my gosh. You're you're kind of missing out because it, it potentially looks even more terrible than the original it, one. It cannot be. It it's, is oh physically God. impossible for it to be more terrible than the Kurt Cameron version. I'm gonna it say cannot be. I don't know. It I... cannot be. I refuse <laughs> to believe that. It just you know what? I watch well, a lot of it's... Criminal Minds. Like I said, it's stealing my faith in humanity. If yeah. this movie is worse than the Kurt Cameron <laughs> version, then I'm just never like, watching it. anything ever again. That's I'm just going to walk well, away. It's, it's taking itself so seriously, you know... It just, I feel like you have to have a sense of irony about yourself when you're remaking a terrible uh, Christian film and it doesn't at all. And it just oh, it looks so bad. So very bad. Um, have you seen it, Alex? No. Did you see the old one? No. no. <laughs> you missed that? I'm actually a little surprised given your penchant for terrible movies. But I guess this is not like up your alley of terrible what, movies. What, like, is it so bad it's good or so bad it's bad it's and you bad. can't well, make it through i made him made it through mostly well at least the second one the bad guy's really hot so <laughs> there i mean that's all you need <laughs> like you in need. a creepy way like he's like canadian and weird but like i was super into him he's oh like, he's canadian he is canadian gordon curry was his name he played nikolai carpathia i'm like if he's not in these ones i really don't have any incentive to watch it even lord squinty eyes uh, <gasps> is he who does who, who does he even play in it he plays buck i think right no that who does nicholas cage play he plays rayford the pilot. You think that yeah. Nicolas Cage is playing Buck? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't even remember who the people are in it anymore. <laughs> who was Buck as his friend? Anyway, who He's cares? I don't want to talk about in that. It, right? I um, thought the pilot was. Oh, the, I guess the pilot's old. The pilot's like that fifty. Was, uh, that's right. Okay, that's right. Yeah. I forgot. You're right. The Buck, affair okay. with the girl. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Now I remember. Okay. Yeah. I remember a few had, things about this. I'd made a mental block of that entire situation. <laughs> I don't blame you for that. It was, uh, it was a weird time, but I did see well, those movies. When did it come uh, out? Why did I miss it? Was it? There was eight, no reason eight, for eight? you. It to was like have, a straight to DVD yeah. deal anyway, wasn't it? I, probably. Yeah. It maybe came out in a few theaters here and there, but it was like, I want to say early it's like, 2000s. It's like, fire, it's like fireproof. That I know about. I haven't seen it. Oh, fireproof is hilarious. Oh, man. I sat down and watched that. My the people I nannied for um, had gotten it out of the red box, and she was like, "Can you return this? I watched ten minutes of it, and I couldn't. 
<laughs> it's like, oh, okay. And I was like, eh, maybe I'll watch it. I made I made it maybe 45 minutes, and I was like, my brain hurts so badly right now. This is so terrible. But, like, Kirk Cameron is playing kind of a bad dude in it, you know? Like, he's, like, a bad husband, and he's got mm-hmm. a porn addiction, and, like, he calls his wife a To touch. What was that poster? It I doesn't love even that look poster. like him. It doesn't yeah. look like him at all. It's terrible. I can't even. Like, he's got, like, this, like, Marty McFly kind of action pose yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. Um, and in case you don't know what this is, Kirk Cameron uh, has decided that to um, fight this war on Christmas that is clearly happening in American culture um, <laughs> by creating a movie that is going to make all the atheists and politically correct people angry, but, you know, it's going to tell the truth about Christmas. And, and the funny <laughs> thing is, did you guys watch the trailer? No. No. He it seems to be arguing in this that actually the commercialization of Christmas and stuff like that are all actually good and part of like the tradition of Christmas and whatnot. Cause it's like, you know, he's having a conversation with some other Christian guy who's like, oh, I hate Christmas because you know, none of this has anything to do with Christ, yada, yada. And he's like, actually, and the whole movie <laughs> is dedicated to showing him that no, all of that is, is good. And we should. So then what's, Wait, what? What's left to hate on? Yeah, so then what is he hating on? Or, I mean, what is he dis... What is he... <laughs> Never mind. I actually don't He's, even care. What's the I problem? Don't... What's the issue? His problem is that people want to say holidays instead of Christmas. Oh, and oh, things oh. like that. And oh. argue that, I don't know, whatever. It's too... You know, Christmas doesn't have to be about Jesus. And, oh, it's so... It's ridiculous, you guys. It's so ridiculous. He, and know, here's Kirk. another person who he just takes himself so seriously. He does, he does. He's like, you're so sincere, and you're so dumb. God bless you. You're so dumb. It's like John Hamm on 30 Rock. You guys watch that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so handsome. So, or so handsome. So stupid. So, so <laughs> he has the oven mitt hands. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Oh gosh, so good. Oh man. Um, um Yeah, so Chad so Michael Murray is Chad Michael Murray. That, and he was in a terrible Christmas movie that I and I watched the, all the ABC Family Christmas movies, you guys. Like this I was so this say, is, was it on Lifetime because yeah. I feel like I've seen part of it. So this is saying a lot is that yeah. I turned it off. That's how bad it was. <laughs> oh, that and bad? I, I have never turned off a, like a Hallmark Christmas movie ever. I turned off one with Kevin Sorbo three years ago, and that's that's notable because it's the only time I did. So yeah, I am actually and th- this impressed. is the only time I too have turned off. <laughs> I, was, I was living with my old roommate, and I got her hooked on him, and she was like, "We were both watching it, and you, both of us were like, I cannot stomach this. We have got to turn it off. Like it is so terrible. Oh man, oh it was awful. I don't think I saw that one. Uh, thankfully, oh. I mean, I would hate to think poorly of old CMM. See, Does he no dress one. up as Santa in it? No, so well, I don't, it? maybe he might have. <laughs> she later. didn't make it that far. <laughs> and my, I did, he was like a doctor in it, and like his ex girlfriend, you know, like left him essentially to like be take her career. It's like one of those present one where they, she goes back and sees her life oh, and what it could a Christmas Carol oh. type thing. Yeah, kind of type sort of ish. Um, How can they anyway. keep making those? <laughs> like, because now there's not, they're not even really twists on it anymore. They're just the same yeah. thing. It's usually I don't some know. business person or whatever. Because clearly Scrooge did it best, so I don't know why they kept trying after that. Specifically, uh, Muppet Christmas Carol. I was about to say Muppet Guys. Christmas Carol is the that best was, of was all that of afterwards. That's I guess that's actually that's right. Mm-hmm. Um, because Wait, see the thing that... about what did you make that noise? No, it was <laughs> was me. That Alex? oh. <laughs> That didn't sound like a real person noise. So then I thought something was happening. Uh, she's making robot noises. It's fine. No, uh, Muppet Christmas Carol is great because it, it has all those wonderful songs in it. And then true. like it makes you cry as much as it makes you laugh in it. Like when he's watching his family have the little like party and they're playing like the charades type game and it turns mm-hmm. out they're acting out him and his like little heart breaks and... Oh, he goes and that's true. <sighs> visits all the places and sings all the songs. It's wonderful. Oh, and then there's a little rat. Yeah, bite the lamp, not the rat. Bite the lamp, not the rat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
Exactly. That was a great impression, anyway. Laddie. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See, I told you. Yeah. There Got you go. Spot on. You you nailed Boom. that one. Um, I don't want to brag, but I'm pretty good. Yeah. So. Maybe we should talk about the the big thing that's happened. Yeah. This. Sorry. Weekend. Let's do it. Um, which was that uh, on 4chan, apparently someone said a week or so ago that they had a whole bunch of celebrity nudes uh, that they had pulled from the iCloud. Um, and they were going to post them up there. Naturally, I think this was met with much skepticism as things on 4chan are wont to be. But it turned What's out... What's 4chan? Should I know what that is? <sighs> is that a thing? It's... Never mind. No, Should... it's... I'll it's Google it. The of the internet. It. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I won't Google it. Butthole of the internet? Got it. So it's like Bakersfield? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Bakersfield of the internet, for sure. <laughs> Uh, uh, this is bad country right here. Got um, it. Okay. It's, yeah. Uh, basically, it's kind of like Reddit, which I don't think yeah. that really helps you understand it a whole heck of a lot more. Um, no, that's okay. Just continue. It's irrelevant that I know what this is. I don't know what anything <laughs> is. So, Regardless, it's a place where a lot of dudes are awful all the time. And, okay. Uh, so this person actually leaked all of these celebrity nudes that they had managed to get from supposedly iCloud, maybe Dropbox, something of that nature. Um, things that these celebrities thought they had deleted uh, were apparently still floating around out there. Where get the- I mean, there's so many angles to this. A, the, that now there's nudes of people like Jennifer Lawrence on the internet. Uh, there's the privacy factor. There's what does this mean for us that uh, something like this can happen and the, uh, our own things. But holy cow, you guys. There were so many. Oh, my God. How many How many people were there? Uh, does anybody have like a number, like a ballpark for me? I mean, I kind of looked at Reddit, but not really. Like over 10. I keep, it, over 10? Over 10, I would think. I think. Oh, and God. random. Like, yeah. I feel really random people that I had to actually like Google to be like, wait, who are you? And you were on, and there's someone like from Glee that oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. A lot of Disney. Yeah. A lot of Disney. Michaela Maroney, the gymnast. Like, which okay. Guy? I did see her name and I was like, what? yeah, I was yeah. like, I like Googled. And I was like, is she even old enough for this? to be Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's legal. Yeah. Like, but apparently she's 18. Something. Happy oh. birthday, Michaela. So there's that. Um, uh, this is crazy. you know Michaela's doing right now. She's doing her unimpressed yeah. face with that guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unimpressed nude face. Unimpressed Michaela. This and, is crazy. yeah. That is just it's just yeah. I don't even know. Like yeah. <laughs> what? I I don't understand what like why someone does. I mean, people are awful, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but this clearly took more work than just like hacking into some. I mean yeah. This clearly took lots of work. Yeah. Like, more than just your average... I mean, I would assume more than... I don't know how to hack things, but... No. More, more, <laughs> it sounds like... It seems like more than their, at your average hack... Hacking, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Then like, very specific. And, for, yeah, like the said, people random. he targeted were so random, so out yeah. there. It's, which makes me wonder, you know, did... I mean, you have these huge people like Jennifer Lawrence, obviously, being the biggest of these people. Um, and then... Uh, um, Kate Upton was amongst them and uh, a couple other people who you know are pretty mainstream and recognizable and then the others were uh, very just you know scattered and whatever so I'm wondering yeah. about access you know if yeah. somehow there was they were easier to access than say hacking Halle Berry's phone or mm-hmm. yeah. something like this I don't know it's just it's insane and it's really it's sad and upsetting and it's also I mean you're assaulted with it everywhere you go. I was telling Alex I was like I'm I was actively trying not to look at these pictures. Yeah. And then on like Twitter I'm just scrolling through and there's the picture of Kate Upton and um Jason Verlander like <gasps> just there which was actually kind of hilarious <laughs> um, because it looks like an awkward prom photo but they're naked. But they're naked? Yeah. Um, and I don't, see, I don't even want to, I don't even want to know, because I just, like, I don't even, like, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen's short-circuiting again. Um, I am. No, I'm... Cinnamon, cin- cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't this is, yeah, it's just such, there's so many things that this brings up, having a huge leak 
like this that it's almost yeah. hard to know where to start in discussing it and i mean the internet is all a buzz talking about it obviously um ann helen peterson earlier today posted about um yeah why this marilyn isn't monroe. Oh. yeah marilyn monroe and why this isn't necessarily going to harm jennifer lawrence's image which i think she's right about um, yeah i mean it's not like when Vanessa hudgens did it and she was like coming on high school musical and yeah. they're like oh my gosh she's so perfect and she's like this little girl whereas like yeah. jennifer lawrence frequently you know grabs people's and stuff or yeah. but sorry but <laughs> bleep that out <laughs> yeah um, and she'll you know yeah. what i mean anyway yeah she's so. constantly ma- like you know there's the whole sex swing story with woody harrelson oh yeah and then, yeah and you're like what yeah, yeah so image wise but just more just like yeah, de- common decency wise yes. yeah <laughs> it's, it's like, a violation it's totally just, yeah i get yeah i don't that's yeah. the thing and i think um one of the things that this brought up uh in one of the articles that i was reading about uh responding to this and whatnot was that these same people who are on 4chan and reddit and so forth are really up in arms about the nsa and spying and um yeah. and and they pointed out you know basically people on 4chan and stuff will commit acts of domestic terrorism on people and uh you know, they'll stalk people and yeah. um, all these kinds of things. And then when people try to track them down, you know, and they doxing, as they say, you know, going and finding these people, they're like, no, uh, uh-uh, privacy. You can't, you can't try to find the original post or anything like that. That's yeah. breaking the rules and that's sacred. And then when it comes to, you know, women's naked bodies, like, no, 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 that's fine. No, yeah. Put yeah. that out there for everybody. <laughs> You're a saint for doing so. That's just mind-boggling yeah. to me. That doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> this does not compute. This makes absolutely. I just. No sense. <laughs> I so. I feel. I just. I. <laughs> I can't even say anything. I cannot speak about this. I just don't even know. I don't even know. I. Ah, I feel like on Twitter too. A lot of guys are being like, "Well, you know, don't keep nude pictures on your phone. Right. Don't take them in the first place if you don't want them out there." Well, I mean, you should. Your phone should be private. I mean, yeah. they don't owe us their bodies you know exactly completely you don't have any claim to them so i feel like they should be able to everyone takes new pictures yeah that's the thing i'm like it's every and this shows you this proves it to you literally everyone does this because (laughs) you know you think it's just like oh all the little people taking them and sending them on snapchat or whatever right and then you're like Jennifer Lawrence has 8 million gorgeous pictures of her on the internet that she mm-hmm. could look at and send to people. But no, she takes the ones at home in her living room to send yeah. to her boyfriend or whatever. So everyone's doing this. It's This is the era we live in. Um, and should everyone just be constantly expecting that their bodies are going to end up on the internet? Uh, I don't. I don't think that sets a very good precedent. And yeah. realistically, this only goes for women. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, mean, I know. I'm like, where there's no guy naked dude leaks. You know they take them, too. Yeah. There's totally tons of those I mean, there was, floating around somewhere. Yeah, there was a, a... I was talking to Cameron Lewis from the Cameron Lewis show uh, and the Magic Hour radio show um, yesterday. And he was saying there's this boy band, Something of Summer... Five Seconds. Five Seconds of Summer. Did I summer? Do it right? Yes. Uh, till Summer of Summer? I don't know. Something like that. But the uh, one of the guys from this boy band, um, he was Snapchatting a dick pic mm-hmm. to a fan, and <gasps> she, like, I don't know how she did this. Screenshot it or yeah. something? Yeah, but it, it was like a, people do. Yeah, but it was like a video. I don't know how you screenshot a video. Um, oh. Somehow she saved it off of Snapchat, which is disturbing that that can happen in and of yeah. itself. Um, and she put it on Vine. So everyone could see this um and he just kind of responded he was like he tweeted like well now y'all know what it looks like Uh, he's like i'm just a teenager make i still make some mistakes and like put like a winky face or whatever um so certainly i mean there you go everybody's doing this it's it's a thing but obviously there's a huge difference in the reaction to his versus jennifer lawrence who's done a a very good job of sort of keeping her private life to herself yeah. in a way that, I mean, you know, she she would be forthcoming about her relationship with Nicholas Holt or things like that, but she never really gave a lot and she's not naked in movies or things like that. So she's clearly worked to keep this side of her from us. Mm-hmm. We, we don't deserve to have it. Yeah. I think- we don't really want it. 
<laughs> well, plenty of people like, do, but they <laughs> true. Shouldn't. So I guess I guess that's true. But I, I uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, this isn't about me, but I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, you clearly would not have done this, obviously. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's a. It's icky. It's icky. It, is icky. it makes you mm-hmm. feel. That's a great. So that's icky. an exceptional <laughs> word. <laughs> this entire thing. Yeah. That is the word I was looking for and couldn't mm-hmm. pull. It's exactly. it is. It's icky. It makes me feel icky. It makes me feel icky for her. Like poor girl. Like just yeah. trying to go about her day, and she yeah. then she gets a call from someone's like, "Dude, by the way, yeah. there's about a hundred naked, you know, pictures yeah. of you." You're just like. That's what I kept thinking. I was like, "Can you imagine the day that all those people were mm-hmm. having yesterday? Just like." Going on, yeah, it's Labor Day weekend, probably going to some barbecues, things like that. And then that, I mean. You imagine you're at a barbecue and it's kind of like, well, this got awkward really quick. Yeah. Like, now what do you, it's like, I don't, like. You know, someone's yeah. scrolling through Twitter and they're like, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yo, Jen, this, <laughs> this thing's happening. Like, I it just, uh, I think, yeah, the icky thing is a good way to describe it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like our inability to really articulate the way we feel about it <laughs> is so, I mean, emblematic almost of how it feels to be a woman where these kinds of things are always sort of a threat to you, you mm-hmm. know, where there's always, you know, someone who thinks that they are owed more of you than they are. And it's really hard to say to people like, hey, that's a creepy reality of what we live in. Yeah. yeah. It, and the fact that it's Jennifer Lawrence's fault for having those. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. You shouldn't have those. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that's the issue. Yeah. The, that's not the issue. The thing is that she took pictures. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm I mean, like, that's. What? <laughs> no. How does it always get turned around to be your fault? Exactly. Like, it's always. It's always, you know. I know. The and fault it, of the person who took right? the photos. Yeah. It yeah. And no it sense. drives me doesn't yeah. <laughs> I think some people are saying too because of like X Men, she's basically naked, so what's the big deal? But she's choosing to be, you know, that way on film and she didn't choose to put these out here. Someone took them from her phone or however they got them. Mm-hmm. I think you were saying that Mary Elizabeth Winstead had deleted the photos. Yeah. Like they were gone and yeah. someone still found them. So that's terrifying. That's exactly. so scary. You know, and that's uh, someone was saying on Facebook earlier and, you know, she was saying, I'm not saying it's their fault or anything like that, but this should, you know, be a lesson about not putting things on the Internet or whatever. But I was thinking about it. I think a lot of people, for one thing, someone sets up your phone for you, right? Like they're like, here, oh, you want Dropbox? Like, you you know, it'll Mm -hmm. make it so your photos will be backed up or things like that. Um, Or you have, I don't have an iPhone. I don't know how iCloud works, but I think a lot of things end up being automatic. And yeah, it's like you plug it in and it automatically yeah, it just updates does it. and does stuff, yeah. And so I think probably people, uh, these people are not probably the most tech-savvy people in the entire world. Yeah. They're not, when they delete a photo, they think they've deleted the photo. They're not like, oh, I better go check the backups, you know. Yeah, which check Dropbox, check yeah. the cloud, like. Which are supposed to be safe anyway. You're not supposed to have to check to make sure you deleted them because they're supposed to be encrypted in a million different ways. And uh, so I think it's a combination of those things. I have a feeling if they knew that they were floating around in the cloud, they probably would have deleted them. Yeah. I don't think they were saving them for a rainy day. That Usually no. when you send nudes to someone, they have kind of a function for, like, a brief moment, and then you don't need them anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, those poor people. By the way, I heard, like, the list is apparently, like, 100 people are on it, but only a few of them have actually been leaked so far. So supposedly the other yeah, it's like, like the first wave. Yeah, it's, going to be more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mary- the person would have to be pretty daring at this point to do that, though. Mary Kate Olsen is supposed to be in the next. Oh, I don't. I can't. I nope. don't know if I can handle that. Nope. nope. Not okay. Can't yeah. do it. Not okay. Yeah. It's, this is. You know. That's kind of like. This is going to be super nerdy, but it's kind of like um <laughs> during when Senator McCarthy was like doing all these things like oh it's okay but then he went off the army and America was like whoa buddy <laughs> no you cannot go after the army it's an institution it's like whoa buddy. You better cool your jets before you expose Mary Kate Olsen. <laughs> yeah. They are That's an institution. Yeah. <laughs> she is a goddamn institution. 
<laughs> totally not really. That's what it made me think of, though. Like, we were, like, drawing the I line. Like, like, okay, yeah. Jennifer. Lawrence. But I'm like, whoa. whoa <laughs> I'm sorry. Not do that to Mary we're not doing Michelle Tanner right now. Okay? <laughs> that is too <laughs> far. That's too much. Yeah, too that is far. too much. Uh, my thing with these is mostly that I'm like, Ugh. I feel like, well, I guess the person probably checked to make sure they were all of age and stuff like that. But I'm also like, ugh. You know, not only uh, are potentially some of these celebrities really just on the cusp of, of age, but the people who can view them because they're not, like, censored or anything like that is... I mean, that was a thing with the, the boy band dick pic guy. I'm like, okay, yeah, he's 18 or whatever. He can do whatever he wants. How old was this fan he was sending it to? And then all the girls who then watched this on Vine... Yeah. I'm yeah. going to say are probably 14 and under if they totally. know who this person even is. So, yeah. there's a lot. I don't know who he is, so clearly that's a younger, and yeah. I know lots yeah. of things. <laughs> I think I know boy bands and things like that. No. This is out of my <laughs> purview, even. Yeah. And they're also apparently even... Australian, I guess. It's, oh. I don't know. Well, what do you know? I don't know. I guess they have boy bands in Australia. Who knew? <laughs> Different ones than we have. Yeah. I <sighs> so there's, yeah, we'll get, we'll move away from that ickiness. Um, and, yeah. uh, Let's talk about some weird news we got this week. Yeah, should we talk about Hello Kitty? Yeah. <laughs> you guys, Hello Kitty is not a cat. It's not. I don't. It's one of those things that I'm just choosing to ignore. Like, I don't. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I don't understand why. Yeah. The lot, like, because she walks around in two feet. So obviously, we should have never thought she was a cat. Right, she doesn't walk the- like a cat. But everything oh, indicates that's the cat. Best, yeah, the best part of it is how like incredulous they seem. They're like, guys, yeah. yeah, she's on two legs. That's cats do don't do know. that. Yeah. She was wearing clothes. Cats <laughs> don't wear clothes. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, like, and she has a pet cat. Like, how was this not a yeah. dead get- giveaway? I'm like, yeah, cats don't have pet cats. You're like. <laughs> Because uh, she's a cartoon. Lots of cartoons have yeah. other pet animals. Like, yeah, it's like a Pluto and Goofy yeah, Pluto sort of and thing, Mickey. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, Goofy. Like, well, and they were the same. Yeah. Or they're both that? dogs, but one walks on two legs and talks, right. and the other one's like a dog dog. But that uh, doesn't yeah. make Goofy a person. Right. Yeah. He's not a dude. Yeah. He's, 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 he's still a dog. A dog. Yeah. So does that mean that all the other characters are also not like, it's not yeah. really a frog or a penguin? I'm it's really think- a boy. Like, are they all people? All dressed up <laughs> like animals? She's the only one and that, like, walks around, though, right? Like, I mean, like, like I don't a person. Know. No, none of them are, like, on all fours. Really? Like, Karopia? Yeah, like, like, I feel like. No, he's like hanging it. out. He's he's walking around on two feet. Basmaru. Well, all- Basmaru's a penguin, though, so that they stand on two feet, right? Okay, all right. Valid point. <laughs> Oh, well, then he's definitely an actual penguin. He's yeah. definitely a penguin, for sure. Like an evil penguin, definitely. Does he have posable thumbs? That's... That is the question. <laughs> then he's human. I mean, where are we supposed to draw the line here, Sanrio? Well, well I just don't. This is one of those things. <laughs> My voice is getting really high because I'm getting so <laughs> weirded out by this entire thing. I'm like, it's like my anxiety level is getting high with all of these weird revelations. Yeah. But I just... Like, who cares? <laughs> well, but see, it was put out And people there were because... like, oh, my mind was blown. I was like, yeah, that's weird. But like, re- wh- why? Like, wh- <laughs> why? <laughs> it's just weird is what it is. And it was put out yeah. there because this, like, anthropologist person is putting together, yeah. like, a gallery of Hello Kitty and reached out and asked. Well, this is this is also a funny thing. So all this time, how long has Hello, Hello Kitty been around? Like, like 80s. Yeah, it's been around for a long time. time. This is the first time someone's asked. Yeah. (laughs) What? Yeah. And And this whole time, you can just imagine everyone at Sanrio has thought this was clear. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And they, someone asked them, and they're like, hmm. And they're they're over there right now, just like, meanwhile, in America, they're freaking out. They didn't. What's wrong with those people? Just, if it were if it were a thing, it would have been clear. Like I feel like we would have known before, you know, this week. Yeah, <laughs> that she's not a cat. <laughs> Hello Kitty is not. A she kitty. is just a really dedicated cosplayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't even know what to do with that. I, just, um, I don't even know. I don't. I just. I don't know either. I just. <laughs> 
I am baffled by all of these things. And she's British. Yeah, she's I mean, British. She's British. <laughs> yeah. I what? About that. I did forget. And she weighs three apples. Three apples. That, that, no, no one weighs, weighs three apples. Yeah, yes. Babies don't even weigh three. I mean, she's a premature infant is how, what <laughs> Hello Kitty is. And then all of a sudden that just opens up a whole other can of worms. I mean, this could be a real creepy story when you start getting it that way. I don't, this just I, lends itself to lots of weirdness. Yeah, but I think I am right with I was just saying I was with you on the whole like how incredulous they were with her But then I was thinking this girl's like an archaeologist So she or she's clearly been studying Sanrio for long enough to put together an exhibit and she didn't know Mm -hmm. Like of all the people that would have known I guess it would have been her Yeah, and I don't know. I guess maybe we Americans just take things too literally or something. I don't How dare we? How dare we assume she was a cat? (laughs) <laughs> how do how dare we not assume she had an entire backstory right, right? i it's ignored like that her mother completely. died in childbirth and you know that's why she's loves kid in the i don't know it's like uh, oh did man. you read the backstory did anyone read it no did you I, hear a full no backstory? i ignored it yes apparently and i always thought that was like a completely separate character the like charmy kitty or whatever i feel like hmm. they talked about like a twin i don't know i just it was too confusing i just She's cats. Yeah. So essentially, it's like American Girl dolls that have like books <laughs> that go with them. Is that what we're saying? Yes. Yeah, I don't. Know, I guess. I don't know. It's very That's confusing. Tale. Yes. It's bizarro. It's a bizarro thing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So Hello Kitty, good job on um, throwing our entire childhoods into turmoil with this. Yeah. Now, now we don't know who to trust. If you it's can't true. trust Hello Kitty. Who can you trust? I, <laughs> My life has I been am, a giant lie. Yeah, I don't trust people who have like Hello Kitty things on their car and stuff like that, though. So I feel like it makes sense. And I pass uh, by someone who has a Hello Kitty sticker. I'm like, mm. now, now, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you do not have Hello Kitty on your car. I don't, <laughs> but I, I used to have like a little bobblehead in the car. Yeah. Oh, I love Alex. her. That tells me her. you're going to cut me off while on your cell phone doing your eye makeup. Like that's that's what I get from someone who <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of judging. That, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I would Experience. never do my makeup. That's a lot of profiling based off of one <laughs> I've been small watching a lot of head. criminal minds, let me tell you. <laughs> your um, skills are not very good. <laughs> no, this happened to me literally last week. Someone uh, with a pink mustache on the front of their car and a Hello Kitty oh. sticker on the back of it. Uh, cut me off, and they were only doing one of those things. They were only doing their like lipstick while they were driving. But I was like, Mm-mm. "Nope, I worry about That's- you." Yeah. Oh, shit. So yeah, this is why I have a thing about Hello Kitty people. Okay. Um, Sorry, but okay. Uh, another sort of mind blowing thing though happened uh, in science because I'm a total nerd. I want to talk a little bit about science. Have you guys heard of this? The the in Death Valley. There is this area they call Racetrack Playa, and there, there were rocks there that they knew were somehow moving because they were leaving trails behind them. Have you heard of this? Yes. Well, because you sent us the thing. Yeah. Well, and I, I meant, think I, had, I just thought I, I was meant the only one that did this. not know. <laughs> no, it maybe was in my brain somewhere, but it got like pushed out by like lots of celebrity gossip and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was too much Hello Kitty going Sanrio on. Sanrio yeah. characters, yeah. yeah. Who has room for this? This has Sorry. always fascinated me, um, and especially because nobody is quite sure why it happens. You know, they're like, they mm-hmm. have all these different theories about it, but nobody's ever seen it occur. And, you know, if something's making tracks, it's obviously not moving slowly. It's moving at, you know, a clip that can leave tracks behind it. Um, so over the years, apparently multiple scientists have been uh, sort of on the lookout trying to figure out you know what the heck is going on here and they finally managed to catch it on video and figure out what the heck is going on um let me let me read it because i will screw it up if i try to explain it to you <laughs> i can explain it. it you can oh let, it. let's hear it Do okay it. so <clears throat> only it takes like is it it takes a number of years for water to build up in death valley and then it it will freeze overnight, and then and during the day when it starts to get warm, the ice cracks and it moves the rocks across this lake bed, this dried up lake bed, um, and so 
but they said like trying to catch that on video because it rained because it's so um rare that it happens and that the water builds up enough and for that to even happen that it's like no one can ever catch it on camera because you don't know when it's going to happen because yeah. you don't know when enough water is going to be there and so what was cool about these guys they got this grant and they got this permission to set up these cameras and they had to bring in their own rocks because like we don't want you to mess yeah. up our rocks because <laughs> heaven forbid those continue to move as they always have you know yeah. that's really going to be a big deal I, I mean I, should, I probably shouldn't make fun I don't know the ecosystem that well yeah, but I'm sure it's very delicate so they, br they bring in their own rocks they've got GPS and they've got these cameras set up and they just happened to miraculously after two years they have to we miraculously happened to catch on video this ice cracking and I guess the ice is so thin that that's why there was never any evidence of what it was and no one could figure it out because everyone was thinking well it must be you know people were like oh it must be really thick ice but no it's like so thin that it's just like <laughs> and then it you know <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good explanation well that was played really Laddie yeah nice. that's exactly what happened which is so cool that they managed to actually get this they still they're a little confused still because there are bigger boulders uh in right. racetrack playa that um clearly aren't moved by this little bit of ice and wind so they're they're not sure entirely how that works but that's so cool you guys science figured something out <laughs> It works, you guys. Science, Science is real. Works. It's or cool. as I like to call it, witchcraft. Yeah. <laughs> Which is clearly how people in the comments section feel about these kinds of things. I love every time I read a science article, I just want to slap people in the face. Because they read it, and they see all the evidence. They see that it's on video, and they're like, yeah, for some reason that I think science, I don't believe you. <laughs> Like, He's like, I grew up watching Bill Nye, and I'm pretty sure that I knew yeah. everything that there's to yeah, know. Exactly. Because he is the science guy, so... It's, yeah. This I is kind of like school Bigfoot. Biology. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. It drives me crazy when people do that. Like, people are commenting that they just don't think that the, like, ice could do that. And, like, there's even people like, um, it's a desert. There's not going to be ice in it. Like... You don't. I'm you don't like, know you're been in the desert ice. at night. Yeah. It's freaking cold. <laughs> That's it's getting cold. It's going to get cold in here like a desert. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really. A, in, that was a. a never You know, I'm not even going to explain what that was. But it, they get cold at night. They do. Yes. They get very cold. Um, and Death Valley has, although extreme high temperatures, they also have extreme low temperatures. Yeah. That's one of the reasons Obviously. why Death Valley is so dangerous, amongst many other reasons. Um, everything it's that can kill Death you. Valley exactly. It's in the name. Cold. Yeah, it's a, you can you know dehydrate and melt to death basically during the day, and then freeze to death at night. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's not a super hospitable landscape. It's not, um, and it's, it's just always when people make comments like that, I'm like, oh. Are we getting stupider, or does the internet just let stupid people be louder? I don't no, guess. it's the, yeah, it's that one. It's the louder. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope you're right. I mean, I like a good mystery as much as the next I guy. I mean, because but... here's the thing. Like, someone smart figured it out. Mm -hmm. And then the people who are like, they're the ones that you hear because they're the, everyone else thinks it's cool. It's like, oh, that's super cool. Yeah. And they just think it's yeah, cool, and everyone else it. doesn't. It's like. Yeah, they don't okay, feel yeah. the need to comment on the article because they're like, yeah. oh, that is a very interesting thing that happened. Oh, very nice. That's cool. Move and then on. I move on to the next thing. I don't, yeah, I don't necessarily, com well, I actually don't ever comment on things, but. Yeah, no, me neither. Um, Not really. Um, when I looked that up but, this morning, though, I thought it was kind of funny what this says about me, that I started to type news into my browser and it automatically filled in dot discovery dot com. I was like. Not BBC or CNN or any, like, actual news. I apparently always frequent Discovery, Discovery. Channel's news page. <laughs> I'm a super dork. Um, okay. Yeah, I thought that was super cool, though. Uh, it is cool. It is cool. Yeah. I know. I thought it was cool when I read it. I did not know that that was happening. But now I'm glad we figured it out yeah. before I had time to speculate. As well how that before was I spent too many hours yeah. worrying about yeah, it. I'm really exactly. glad someone told me the answer. Well, if you were like yeah. me, I've been wondering for years. So you know. What did you think it was? Oh, I have no idea. I'm not a scientist. I just aliens. <laughs> aliens, definitely aliens. I don't. I don't have an alien fixation. That's not my. Uh, not my bag. Uh, but I don't know. I just. I always wondered with these kinds of things. Like it's the same thing with um, gravity roads. You know, you guys ever go to a gravity road or a gravity hill? Like oh, the one yeah. we went to together. Yes, exactly. Yes, and that's what I was I thinking forget. about. And then 
I thought I misheard you when you I was asking you to explain why this was happening, and you guys made a joke that it was magnets in the hill. And no, I thought I you wasn't said, joking. That's one of the theories. Okay, well, so that's a thing. And I thought you said <laughs> magnets in hell. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and I was extremely confused. As I I'm forgot. Very yeah, gullible. magnets in hell. Yeah, magnets in hell making this car move. <laughs> But you know those uh, uh there are those roads that if you put your car in neutral they'll go uphill instead of downhill. And it's one of those things that there's like a bajillion different ways that various uh sciency people will explain it. And some say it's an optical illusion because of the embankments on the side of the road. Some say there's magnets and mountains that are actually doing it and it's really happening. Um or if you're like me, it's ghost children trying to push your car up the hill, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's like there's these things that it's like people have all these sort of theories about, but nobody has the for sure thing. So it's kind of cool when you actually see something get solved. That's true. For all. Yeah. It's one of those things I can check off my list that I don't have to ask when yeah. I die. <laughs> <laughs> my friend Katie wants to find out why Kenny Chesney and Renee Zellweger got a divorce. Oh, I want to know that too. <laughs> I know, because didn't it have she, like, like, a reason it, like, that was like fraud? Like, it, oh, fraud! fraud. It was, was fraud. fraud, and she but and she won. So my friend Katie is like, be I mean, f- physically she gets upset about it. But I asked <laughs> her about it once, and she was like, Kristen, she's like, it was fraud, and she won. What could she? What could he have been fraudulent about? Like, <laughs> what is it? And she. Like, it's so crazy. And it, I always bring it up now because I think it's hysterical how crazy it makes her. But I'm like, but now, hearing her, now I'm like, yeah, you know, that's like, weird. What is want to know? It's like, usually what? very, oh. like, what irreconcilable differences. Yeah, like, yeah. that's the thing. That's just divorce. what you say. Doesn't yeah, matter right, what happens. Totally. You say yeah. you're reconcil- How mad do you have to be to actually be like, no, I'm putting on the public record fraud. Fraud. And yes. I want something from you. I'm like, yeah. you don't need anything. Like, you guys were equally famously yeah. wealthy like it wasn't anyway anyway yeah. that's not clearly not the same thing and nowhere near as cool but a question that we all need an answer to i need an Damn answer it. i need an answer someday. i hope there will be the tell-all someday where renee explains <laughs> one it day to us, but for now we don't um let, let's uh let's play this game before oh we my gosh i'm so it. ready for this game yeah uh, i didn't Alex- even look at it so I don't. Even I didn't know. either. I, I did not look, okay. but I'm so. So my ready. thought is, I think we should look at because they have the emojis, and then you have four choices. Um, let's not look at the choices first. Let's look at okay. the emojis first. Alex, so, I think you're going to be better at this than either of us because I don't even have emojis. But I don't watch as much. I don't know. Feel like I watch the same yeah. amount of TV. Yeah. Oh, these are like pictograms. Sure. Yeah. But it's not like wait. Are pictograms? Oh, this have is to, like, so hard, you guys. Them? But they're not going to make a word, right? No. I don't think so. I think so it's I'm not, I'm not trying it. to say like princess X queen X tree police coffee. It's coffee. It has to be Twin Peaks, right? Uh, Are we supposed to say what we're guessing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That could. I, oh, yeah. I think you're right. No. That is. No. Yeah. That's, Mystery. Well, the little. Um, yeah. There's magnifying like. Magnifying glass. Yeah. Right. That's what that is. Is that even an emoji? <laughs> no. I don't even have any <laughs> that's of That's clip art. That is what that is. <laughs> Well, let's see. Is that a oh, Twin Peaks is a choice. So I think you may be right. Let's let's uh, let's see. Yes, well played, Alex. Oh, good Blakey. job. Okay, We're the next one. That. Okay, we <clears throat> have a, a boy, a, a composition notebook. notebook, a sun. Face? Oh, I know. A moon. A, a wolf. Teen, werewolf. Teen wolf. Teen wolf. Oh, let's see here. Teen wolf. Boom. Yep. Well played. Oh, this one starts. This one has. A lot of things in common with Twin Peaks, this next one. So we have a, like, prom queen girl, magnifying glass, question mark, gun, airplane, uh, graduation cap, broken heart, and an anchor. An anchor. An anchor. Something on a, well, there's a plane and a boat. Is it lost? No. There's no queen in Lost. Uh, But there's no queen in the other one. It's just a girl. There was no queen in Twin Peaks. She was just, oh, she was the prom queen, I guess, or something. Yeah, I think that was what they were going for. But She's maybe blonde. Veronica Mars, maybe, or Agents of I don't watch Agents of Shield. Is there a princess? I don't, know. I don't think so. <laughs> Does Veronica Mars have something with an anchor and a plane in it? A boat. A boat. Was it Revenge? Oh, oh, you might be right. Because doesn't she get like? But that's not an option. Oh, it's not. 
No, it's not. It's arrow or. Oh, I thought we weren't looking at the options. Yeah, okay, Alex, now we're looking at the options. Oh, I've been cheating this entire time, then. <laughs> I was like, wow, how'd you pull Twin Peaks out of that? Oh, I'm amazing. Oh, okay. I have no idea. What I was like, wow, she got coffee and thought Twin Peaks? is like, there wasn't even any pie with it. Um, oh, sorry. Okay. I'm not as cool as... Uh, of these choices? Maybe Veronica Mars, because high school. That. But there's no boat, is there? Uh, there's a boat in Neptune. Arrow. There's a boat in Arrow. Oh, is there? Yeah, he on the he gets shipwrecked, and remember he's lost for like a year, and yeah, that's when he's that. dead. But okay, let's try that. Let's see. No, it was Veronica it was Mars. Veronica Mars. Dang, the emojis. I are didn't hard, watch. I Wait didn't a, watch Veronica Mars. What is this next one? Oh, Orphan Black. It has oh. to be because they're all the same. <laughs> they're clones. Clever. It's well, the same girl. That's confusing to me because she doesn't look the same all the time on Orphan Black. But yep, I see it now. Okay, the next one is oh. uh, someone getting a head massage. A question mark. A dress, a gun, a microphone, biceps, and a uh, sort of wah, concerned wah, face. face. Yeah, concerned face. Um, Glee? Okay, murder. Is there a gun on Glee? I feel like Glee would have like a shooting or Didn't something. Didn't they have a shooting episode? They all do. Yeah. I think they you're probably right. Up, but what's the head massage? Is that what that is? Mm-hmm. Am, I, is am I making No, it? that's what she's so. getting. A head massage. And But it's like uh, a mystery with singing? Some- Maybe it's a musical. Hmm. A music. Can I look at the options? Yeah, yeah, look at the options. Lost Girl, Dollhouse, Buffy. Oh, Buffy, right? Was, there was a singing episode. Yeah. yeah. But then I, the other ones don't really. Cause there's they a, don't make any sense. And she didn't use a gun. She used a stake. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, I don't watch Lost Girl. I, don't even I watched Lost, Lost Girl, but I don't think they. no one sings on Lost Girl. But she doesn't know who she is. But they don't use guns either. But Dollhouse, she doesn't know who she is. Yeah. And she can be a singer sometimes if she wanted to be. Yes. So let's let's try Dollhouse. It was Dollhouse. Oh, I would sure like nice. an ex- These are hard. Those. These are hard. These are really hard. Let's let's oh, do two okay. more. All right. Okay. Okay. This has lesbians in it. <laughs> right? It does have lesbians. Okay. So oh, so it's gonna be Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Cookie. Okay. So here's what we've got. We've got a girl with the crown again. A heart, a purple devil, broken heart, a graduation cap, lesbians, key, X'd out That's eyes, Buffy. and a cookie. Cookie. The key? Yeah. yeah. That's definitely Buffy. It's that gotta be an easy. option. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, last one. This is an airplane, a, like, pow explosion explosion-y thing, a wave, a, uh, what do you this call it? This one's gotta be Hourglass, lost. Glass, it's lost. A bomb. And geez, and a church. A church. A church. Another airplane. definitely lost. Oh, well, there we go. So, we did, uh, we did okay. There's more. There are more, yeah. People are probably tired of us playing this game that they can't <laughs> see the screen. <laughs> um, yeah, the funny thing is, these cast pictures all look very similar. Yeah, they do. The same kind of, like, mood. This is how they're trying to throw us off by putting things that are essentially the same. This one has, this next one... Is more girl on girl, and the only thing left is like that's got to be Lost Girl, then, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is what is that? I've never even freaking heard of this show. Oh, it's, it's so good. Sci-fi. It's on Sci-Fi. Oh, that's why. It's I've only like, ever seen commercials for it. I've never actually watched it. It's like Angel, but with a lady. Oh. <laughs> she she's like solving crimes, but they're like demon. Oh, cool. Related, okay. like Veronica Mars and Angel. Ah. But she's trying to figure out, like, who she is because she's also, like, Faye. She's a succubus. Whoa. Ew. Whoa. There's a lot good. going on there. It's on Netflix. Oh. It. oh. Nice. Maybe once I finish my Criminal Minds binge watch, I can put that in the old queue. For sure. But I definitely need to finish these. It's, like, all I'm doing with my life now. It's a problem. Um... Anyway, yeah. that was cool. That was cool. It was good. It was, it was, it was difficult. That was difficult. Uh, emojis. It was are... difficult once I started playing by oh. our rules. <laughs> yes. Uh, BT dubs. Um, some people always use this emoji that looks like this to me. Mm-hmm. What is that? For me, I feel like it's like, like, yes. Like, not raise oh, the like roof, five, but like, like, no, like, I feel like they're like worship this, hands. That's what I think. It's like, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. It's like, like bow down. Like so, I bow down okay. to you. Okay. 
Yeah. Like you'd use it like for Beyonce. You'd be like, oh, like, praise it. Jesus. Yeah, I, yes. yeah, I was calling them like like Jay Z hands for a while. I was like, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I used them last night, and you were like, I don't understand. Yeah, well, what people those always are. use them on things, and I'm just like, nope. I have no clue what that means. Because I feel like emojis are very uh, subjective. Like, some yes. people think they mean one thing. Some people think they mean another. And, like, I'm, like, trying to figure out context clues. I'm like, <laughs> nope. I have not been able to figure out the field goal hands before. So, okay. <laughs> now I know at least if you're doing it that it's, like, worship hands. Yes. Keep on doing what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I feel good about this. Um, do you. You do you. You do mm-hmm. you. Emoji hands. So uh, is there anything else anyone wants to discuss before we uh, close up shop for the day? Nope. Okay. No. Well, then. Thanks for chatting. Uh, yeah. gl- glad to have Alex all the way from PDX, the old stomping grounds. <laughs> yes. Good times. Uh, so... Um, that's it for this week then uh, make sure that you check out the blog electricpeace.com we'll be posting links to everything but not to nudes you sickos uh, but links to articles about it quite a few good ones so you can um, send you those ways so check that out um, and make sure that you subscribe to us on iTunes on Stitcher on YouTube on all the places where our podcast can be found and if you like us uh, go ahead and rate and review us on iTunes because it helps more people figure out that we exist we exist you guys we totally exist (laughs) we want everyone to know about it so until next week when we'll be back with you again in the fan cave I'm Corrigan Vaughn I'm Kristen Latterell I didn't want to be presumptuous and be like and I'm Alex Blakey (laughs) (laughs) you should know me (laughs) Uh, it, it makes <laughs>